As a pro hockey player with type 1 diabetes, Max Domi has had a long journey to get where he is. Now, Max works hard to stay on top of his game by managing his diabetes with the help of Dexcom G7. For more on this technology that's impacted his life, we're joined by Toronto Maple Leafs forward Max Domi. Good morning to you this morning, sir. Morning, guys. How you doing? Uh, very good. Very good, uh, despite the weather. But we'll we'll deal with that <laughs> later. Um, you know, you've. Ha I was interesting reading your story. I mean, since the age of twelve, when you were diagnosed uh, with yep. diabetes, you know, I had some friends growing up that had that, and I always used to look at them and go, "Wow, that must be so challenging. Have to stay on top of it by pricking your finger all the time." Tell me a little bit about your journey with diabetes and how you managed it then, and and how you do now. Yeah, it's come a long way, man. I'll tell you that for free. I um, I was 12 years old when I was diagnosed, and um, pretty well documented it. That uh, my first question if I could is, was if I could still play hockey, and yeah. uh, of course my my doctor answered pretty quick and said absolutely you can. And um, nowadays with with where the technology's at um, and how far we've come, um, I mean uh, you see in the video there. Yeah. That's my new uh, <clears throat> continuous glucose monitor. It's called the Dexcom G7, and goes right to my phone. It's something so small you can hardly even feel it. And uh, I lean on this thing every single day. So it's, it's been a complete game changer for me and helped manage my diabetes and allows me to play at the, the highest level in the world for my sport. That, that is so cool. I think, you know, you're inspiring a lot of people who probably have that question, too. You get, you get that diagnosis yeah. and you say, how is this going to impact my life? But your routine, like you said, kind of changed a lot from early on having to prick your finger and now using this. Um, sort of on the day-to-day, -day, is this something you can not even, like, how, how, how do you, you manage it on, on the daily? Is it just that much easier that you just you, you monitor it through your phone? <laughs> like, that, that sounds life-changing. It, it's 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 still a very complicated disease okay. and, and something that uh, we don't have a cure yet. But um, tools like like the Dexcom G7 have have allowed me to to free up my day to day for sure in terms of uh, the stress and, and whatnot. It's everyone's on their phone 24 seven now, anyways. And um, what a better what, what better place to have all your your Dexcom uh, data on there and your your glucoses. Uh, I mean, every five minutes it's it's uploading a new thing for you, and so it's it's it makes it much easier. Is it still complicated and still very uh, challenging? Absolutely, but I mean, hey, I'm I'm playing the NHL despite having type. So it hasn't hasn't gotten my way and, and shouldn't get anyone else's way. That's for sure. Well, like I said, you're probably inspiring a lot of people who've had doubts as to how you be how they'll be limited, perhaps by diabetes. But who can use this? Is this G Dexcom G7 for for just about any anyone and yeah. and does it work for the same for everyone? Absolutely. Um, like I said, first of all, it, it is something that um, you forget it's there, and, and that's been a complaint in the past of, of people, whether it's a pain or, or just annoying being in the way and whatnot. And, 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 and honestly, I'm, I'm not even kidding. you got to try it yourself. You, you can hardly even feel it. So whether you're you're a type 1 or type 2 or, or a non-diabetic that just wants some, some data, I mean, listen, I, I've, I've shared my story with everyone, and, and there's yeah. people that uh, – that have seen this device and been completely blown away. Um, so it, it, it can help everyone, but more, more importantly, type one and, and, and type two diabetics for sure. That's awesome. So I'm, I'm going to leave you on this. If, if you could either yeah. talk to yourself at 12 years old or maybe a kid out there who's starting any sport or really ha has the whole future ahead of them, what would you, and diagnosed with type one diabetes, what, what would you say to them? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a great question. And I've had thousands of conversations with kids with that exact question. And, uh, I mean, I, I think that the main few points would be, you know what, it, it is something that, that sucks and isn't fun and necessarily isn't fair, uh, but try and flip a negative into a positive as much as you can. And uh, especially as an athlete, you got to be in tune with your body and uh, you got to be mentally strong and have a routine and all that good stuff. And having type one really forces you into that. So awesome. um, you have a dream, stick to it, and uh, I'm living proof. So I'm, I'm cheering for everyone else out there that's living with my situation and uh, always got your back. Thanks. Thanks for sharing your story this morning, Max. Tell me you have a great day. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Cheers.